minus one student body. Martin reports. A emergency report to Central Colonial Service subject. Planet 7063. Glade reporting. Don't know Marine. Special assignment for biological contact. Report consisting of standard universal tapes and special recorded comment. First segment, landing pay plus one. 6 a.m. Surreal. Meantime, voices on tape. My myself, Colonel Executive Shep Hafner and Natural, a female member of our crew. Take commencing. Click, ramp and rolls. Wind blows. Hefner, watch your step on the ramp, my rain. It's tilted. Rain. Oh yes, I will, I will, all right. Where are these people? Hefner, over there, a few hundred feet beneath that tree. Marion, well, come on then. Footsteps of tall grass. Hefena, you know I'm going to have to note in a log that you cleared the planet for colonization as of last night. Marion, I understand I'm taping this now for eye records. I'll take full responsibility for the safety of this planet. Hefena, all right, but wait until you see this. Bring by down a little footsteps slow to stop Hefena. Here we are, now, do you see there, in a clearing beneath that tree, Marin? Why, good Lord, they have a stitch clothes on, none of them. Hefner, it's just what I told you, Marin. No, are they all right? They're not, they're not. Hefner, no, no, then they're just asleep. You see them breathing, Marin. Look here, Hefner. Who gave you permission to sleep out here in the open? Hefner, shh, don't wake them yet. I gave them permission, Marion. They would, they had been cooped up in that ship for all, over six months. And when they sleep outside, if you were your clearance, I couldn't see any reason to refuse permission. Marion, I know, I know, you're within your rights, but the clothing, why? They didn't have, they didn't even have blankets. Hefner, they did have. They, when they bedded down last night, some of them used it, the standard issue sleeping bags. When well, what happened to them? There are 13 people sleeping around that tree, and they start naked, all of them. Heaven, last night, you told me there was nothing dangerous in the glade. Do you think, do you still think so? When I know so, I had a complete biological survey. Heaven, does your survey account for anything like this? Marin. You know it doesn't, Hefner. That's what I thought. Okay, now you see for yourself. Let's wake them up. Get them back to the ship. Marin, no, wait. We better wake them up one at a time. This will be embarrassing enough for them as it is. Hefner, yes, I suppose you're right. Well, we'll wake the nearest one first. Asafro, our te- lab technician. Marin, yes, well, here. Yeah. Yes, well, her. Uh, take my jacket, cover her with, uh, before you wake her. Have that all right. Wake up, FRL. FRL, sleep it. Mm? Have that all right, FRL. Wake up, it's Executive Afena. FRL will wake. What? Oh, what is it? Have that. I'm sorry, FNL. Something has happened. FRL startled. Oh, my clothes. Oh, my blanket. Everything's gone. Have that now. Be careful. Don't wake the others. I thought, oh, yes, the others. Pause his realize, oh, my good heavens. That's, they're all that way. Hefner, FRL, just go back to go to your cabin on the ship. Everything is all right. We'll explain to you where, when we have the others safely back. I thought, well, I, also, I feel so foolish. How could this happen? What is the meaning of this? Hefner, what? Now, just get back to the ship. Your clothes back there are perfectly safe. Ethel, yes, yes, all right. Ah, uh, well, well, thank you. Her footsteps away. Erin, hmm, you told her? We'll explain it later, Hefner. Do you think we can, Hefner? That's your job, isn't it? Hefner, Marine, this planet is 
new to me as it is new to you. Hefner, there are the other biologists. What destroyed the clothing? Marin, it would have been something that could destroy both blankets and clothing without waking the people. Hefner, nocturnal insects. Marilyn, only I'd say that was a distinct possibility. If it, if it not was it for the fact our surveys show no evidence whatsoever such insects on the glade. Hefner, your survey could have missed them, couldn't it? Marine, not if they existed in any great quantity. Besides, the insects were the answer. They should be, there should be some kind of evidence of them. Right here in the area where I was lying, certainly one or two of them could be, would be crushed when you rolled over in her sleep. As a well, as a reasonable, man, now look for yourself. There's absolutely no sign of anything at all here. Has a well? What about the other, some chemicals, some vapour oozing from the ground? Mary, no chance at all. I roll that out completely. Half no one what, Marine? Well, there's one, there's a tree itself, I suppose. Could see some kind of chem, some chemical, might say old cloth, but I can check that in the lab. Head down, we better rouse the rest of these people. Get them back to the ship. Help Marine, wait, wait. Half no, what is it? Marine, why? It's some kind of animal. Have a what? Huh? I mean, just caught a glimpse. What? Through there. Ah, oh, there he is, yeah. A sea behind a bush. Have a yeah, looks like a chipmunk. Nothing yes, he's feeding on something. Why? It looks like a piece of cloth. Have the Marine, do you think that? Nothing. Shh. Does it? He doesn't hear us. We just ease up on him now. Closer, closer now. Ambush animal squeals, struggles. Have a, you got him? Have in, mm, why you, you little devil? Have a, watch out, Marin, he's got sharp teeth. Marin laughs, you're telling me, gently to the animal. Easy, easy there, boy, easy. Yeah, like you, like to have your head stroked, yeah. Car, sure you do, that's a boy. Hefner, he's coming down. Marin, yes, look at that. He's nothing, he'll cook him out, oh, almost, like a kitten. Have a, almost, Marin. I hope you don't mind short leaves, leaves. Marine, well, what do you mean? Have they? He's already eaten half a sleeve of your shirt. I think we found the answer to our problem. Marine reports, I a small furry animal, mammal, resembling a earth type rodent. His overall length is 14 centimeters weight, 512 grams fur, stringing, sparse, color, light beige, indicating no particular protective coloring. I was placed in a special cage up in a biological laboratory, a blue ship for further study. Next date, landing date plus two. Cage animal squeaks. Hefner, can we stomach st- it? I went there in. Ah, uh, it's quite a job. Hefner, what about locally? Hefner, I in hardly. It's a good the base. Basic. Hefner, look, Marine. You're from biological control. I've just got an executive rating. They're in. Well, look, you know how control works. They'll send a survey ship over and record the neutral currents of the animals. They'll get everything that, that has a brain, including insects, and make a few specimens, take a few specimens to check the patterns. Now, here's the report of the lays. As the survey shows that this animal is also one of the only four species of mammals on the planet. So they're most numerous. And then so if we kill them off, I was just swarm in from the other areas. Marine, yes, that's about it. Hefner, hmm, Marine, there's probably millions of them around this planet. Of course, if you want to get a barrier across the connection to the mainland, you might be able to work them out locally. Have a look, Martin. I've got a tight treasure. I can't spare making the shit equipment for that. By the way, what do they eat? Marin, well, as far as I can see, every, anything. Insects, folk, berries, you can call it omnivore. What, now, that our clothing is handy, it eats that too. Have I thought our clothing was supposed to be vermin proof? But it is, on 27 planets, on the 28th, we met up with a little fella as little better digestive fluids, that's all. 
and there's creaks and rattles round cage, Marin. Hey, he's eating the leather belt right now. Marifina, yeah. Are you like, are they like the bottle of crops we plant? Then they shouldn't, but they uh, would have said the same thing about our clothing. Have it all right, Marin. You worry about the crops. Find some way to keep them out of the fields. Meanwhile, I know that everyone sleeps inside the ship so we can build dormitories. And the squeaks in full. They're in, in the reports. Biological examination of omnivore posed this question. Why only four species of mammals are delayed? No reptiles, only three birds. On all cooperative planets, large variety of species. Nearest Earth parallel fossil remains from late carboniferous show out creatures like the omnivore, but on the blade there appears to be no further evolution. Next type um, segment um, plus twenty two place temporary warehouse quartermaster Corone and myself. Slight warehouse echo. Crone. There you are, Mister Martin. They got in every seed sack and barrel in this part of the warehouse. Rin, well, what makes you think it's mice? Crone, look, I worked in grain elevators for 30 years in Kronzis. Look at the way the sacks are gnaw- is gnawed. Look over there, droppings, Valerian. Well, is that, is that, is it not exactly? Crone, I know, I know. So they're like it's like. I want to know how to get rid of them. Marin, have you tried poison? Crone, you tell me to poison to use? I'll use it. I got into a hundred pound sack of arsenic. Went for it like it was whipped cream. Marin, well, how did they get in? In a fused dirt floor, isn't it? Crone, it should be airtight. It should be pissed tight, but see, there are cracks along here. There must be a barrowed through. They're loose in here, and we don't have time to build another warehouse. i got to be, be controlled here. Marine, well, I'll catch me a few of them alive and see what I can do. It's like warehouse echo, probably. Marine reports, next morning a dozen live specimens of mice-like animals are delivered to the lab. No, no two of them are affected by the same poison. Poison developed to control the olivore. Completely effective. Alternatives discussed with Executive Hefner, Machinus Tilly, a computer engineering. Next tape, L, plus 24. Hefner, Tully, and myself. Bang a hammer of metal. Tully, I tried it out yesterday, Mr. Hefner. I think i got all the bugs licked now. Hefner. Tully, I don't want any more metal used than is necessary. Isn't standard authorised equipment? Marine, you're not dealing with a standard authorised problem. Mefna, are you ready to activate the device? Tully, sure thing. Here, help me get it down from the assembly. Bench down on the floor. Hefna, all right. They grunt with effort. Help me machine set on floor. Tully, here you go, kitty. To the others, now do... What do you think of a robot cat, Marine? Well, I should think we need at least three of them. Hefner, Mr. Marine, inventor of colonist expeditions is always short. Inventory of the middle of colony in the expeditions is always short. Well, we'll have to do it. All right, Tully, show us how this mechanical mouse catcher operates, Tully. You better get out of the way, Mr. Marine. If you touch any of the mice in the lab, she'll go for you. He reacts to smell as well as sight and sounds, Hefner. All right, Tully, start it up. Cackle of electricity. Tully, last all right, kitty. Go ahead and have a good time. Rain well, she moves like a cat. Tully, you know, I wouldn't better plug nickel. I didn't mind in the same warehouse with that baby. Crackle of electricity. Marine reports. Robot cat device proved relatively successful. Warehouse one. Rodent damage. Tail below mar- mar- danger margin. Next tape. L plus 37. Tully, Hefner and myself. Slight hair of the house. Wecko. Tully, I can't, salv- I can't salvage it. Miss Hefner, just look at it. The skeleton was chrome steel. Now it's bent. 
The skin is deroplastic. Now it's cut into ribbons of computer parts, all smashed to bits. Have you, how, how do you account for it, Tully? Tully, well, look around. The poor thing. You had me build it for mice. These things aren't mice. They're a good foot long. They outnumbered him, that's all. Hefner, you examine these dead animals, Marion? Marion, not closely. Hefner, well, you find them my, find your mice are grown. They gained up on that cat. Tell you, you aren't supposed to be any, any rats or glade on it? Marion, well, there weren't supposed to be any mice either. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Going to, what are you going to do? Hefner, I have to build another warehouse. Two thick, fused floors. Tully, wait a minute, Mr. Hefner. To do that, we'll have to stop all the other construction. The automotive generators won't. Marine, why not to build more robot cats? Hefner, you weren't, any, you weren't here when we opened the doors, Martin. Our house is swarming with rats. Tully, how many robot cats will we need? Five, fifteen? Tully, we don't have enough parts to build more than three. Hefner, we have more than that. That will have to rob the computer and the spaceship. The one thing I refuse to do, the spaceship is only flink with Earth until next week in four years. All right, then. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll flood lit the super supplies at night. We'll post a guard with half-charged rifles so we can move to new warehouse. It'll take about ten days. Meanwhile, our first crop of, of ripening. My guess that rats would turn into that for food. Now, in order to protect our future, food supplies, we'll have to attract, activate our cold storage animals, Marion. Marion, Mr. Hefner, it's against regulations to release any cold storage animals on the planet to allow us to complete investigation. Hefner, that takes 2 to 20 years. This is an emergency. Marion, I don't want to be responsible for another rabbit infested in Australia or that plant, or that plate in the Celestia Centenary system and uh, snails took over. Have the Marine, I'll take the responsibility of recording now, aren't you? Marine, yes, Hefner. Well, all right, isn't so far enough? I'll put it on waiting. Marine, well, the beasts have got for you this job. Won't do any good against rats this size. Hefner, well, you've got hormones, use them. Slight a very house echo. Wherein dead rats were gathered and frozen for further study. Observed animals, a wide variation in size initially, a lack of infirmity in organs. Some species had huge fangs and delicate jaws, others tiny teeth and massive bone structure. Obviously, the most scrambled of species ever accounted by biologists. Reproductive cells were st- st- especially baffling, proceeding with hormone treatment of cold storage earth animals. Next tape. L plus 39, lab tradition, FRL myself. It's a rate that slowly pumps, FRL. First one is coming out of it, Mr. Morel. Well, yes, that makes 45% visibility. That's not bad, squeak of a little dog. Very now, right, fella. Now, take it easy, take it easy, FRL. Last, he's a cute little fella. Rain, but he's tough. As a wild hair terrier. It's small, but it's been used for rats since the Middle Ages. Ephraim, do you think he's nearly ready for the, uh, in the hormone course? Well, then I think so. All right, first priority injection. Ephraim, ready? All right, now. This is going to hurt you, just a little fella. Squeak, the little dog reacts to the injection. Marine, ah, oh, yes, a dirty trick, isn't it? Driving you with a needle when you're fresh out of the deep freeze. But don't you worry, fella. You're glad you had it. You'll stand better chance against those rats when we work you up to about a great dane size. Dog whips pretty full. I do reports. L plus 50. Artificial enraged terriers are loosened in the fields of the fast crops. Following tape field of observation terriers execute Hefner and myself. Take a look Hefner and myself. Dark of large dogs. Hefner. How long have they been at it, Marderine? Marine, oh, since daybreak, how to bring the dogs in at night and shoot them full of antibiotics. Well, now, will the dogs last? How they at Marine? Well, this crop will be harvested about a week. I'll make that. There'll be two weeks to rest up before the next fast group 
shows above ground. I think we got rats licked for a while. Heavener, well, when you get a chance, you might ask the PhDs in Central how they happened to hand us a survey. They forgot to give us a few details, like mice and rats. Mother in, I've been checking on that, Mr. Heffner. I don't think that any, there's any doubt when the survey was made before he landed, there wasn't any mice or rats on Glade. Heffner, then where did they come from? How did they get here? Marine, I don't know, but we're going to have to find out. Bark and large dogs. Marine reports. Research project of psycho mice and psycho rats. Interrupted by field trip with biological survey management officer Whitehead. Tape L plus 63 in field. Geological survey vehicle. Whitehead and myself. Hammer vehicle, Whitehead. You think you got troubles? Can you sh- read a cell map? Marine, no. Whitehead, well, here, look. See this scope? It leads straight down ten miles. I suppose we're out looking at oil shell. But I got kind of interested in this. Look, first few feet down, you can find fossils. A few first few feet is about twenty thousand years, and no fossils until you get way down here. It's about the same as Lake Carboniferous on Earth. Then you get the fossils again. It doesn't figure, Marine. But isn't that an but isn't that unusual? Challenges in general geological careers. My head, you don't get it, man. I'm not talking about eras. I'm talking about years straight down from straight down from here. Twenty thousand years ago, this was a desert. Then three years later, it was a jungle. Five years of that was a glacier. Earth normal would be fifty thousand years or more for a change like that. Marine, what has caused it? My head, you got me for. for fluctuations in the sun. I don't know. We we'll talk about a change of weather. This planet really has it. I'm a vehicle veteran. Reports based on the community data. Very developed regarding millennium life on planet Glade. Tape L plus 65. Place temporary headquarters of Executive Hefner. Hefner, Marine. I've got a lot of work to clear up this morning. Martin, I thought you might like to know where the mice came from. Hefner, they don't bother us anymore. Marina is also determined the origin of the rats. Hefner, they're under, contr- under control. Marina, I, I wonder if they are, Mr. Hefner. Hefner, what do you mean? Marina, Mr. Hefner, I checked this with the right head. Between 100, mi- 100 million years and 20,000 years ago, this planet was changing violently and quickly. First change wiped out the dinosaur, just the way it did on Earth. But it kept on changing. Desert, glacier, jungle. Always within the lifespan of one single animal. One million years. This was the norm as this is the glade. If the, I checked the derivative survey. Planet's stable now. I mean, well, that's not what I'm getting at. Probably is that survival was difficult. Only one species of animals managed to come through. Have you now wait a minute, Marin? There are four species ranging in size from a squirrel to a modern buffalo. Well, for that Marin, our species, they're the same if the food supply for the largest animal species, rather than smaller so called species just grow up. Conversely, if food becomes scarce in any category, next generation, which apparently adaptly apparently can be produced almost instantly. Which is the form which does have an adequate food which does have an adequate food supply. After the mice well in the mice weren't here when we got here, they're born of the squirrel sized ro omivore. Have you found the rats? We're in born the largest next largest size of the all. We're the environment too. They adapt to the environment. Have now, let me get this straight. The mutations? But well, on Earth, it wouldn't be mutation. Here's really normal evolution. Even animals have no genes or chromosomes. I don't know how they, they pass down heritage, but they react to external conditions far faster than anything we ever encountered. Have now, then, we'll never be free from pests, unless, of course, we rid the planet of all animal life. Marine, yeah, which will mean... With radio dust, it wouldn't work. It survived worse. Have no well, maybe. 
You can leave the planet, leave it to the animals. I can exercise your authority. And the clause three six four. Marianne, Marianne, it's too late for that. Heaven, what do you mean? Marianne, we've sent back the species specimen ship. Animals are on Earth too. Have you? But those specimens were in cages. Hefner, yeah, and Marine, yes. The next generation will be small enough to get out through the bars. And running free, the crowd goes at the spaceship. And then on Earth, and the first thing you know, a new variation of rats will appear. We won't have any reason to connect it with the specimens from Glade. Heaven, you won't be able to vermin proof every building on Earth. Marine, no, we've got to stay here. We've got to study animals here and find out how to beat them. If we can, science fiction, click on tape machine. Then, next tape, Royal Plus 83. Place Fields Outpost, Quartermass, the Crone, Hefner and myself. Wimbos eerily, Crone. I saw it, Mr. Hefner, I saw it. Kevin, are you sure? Crone, there. You see that tree? No, no, the big one. Hefner, wait, flowers? Crow, that's the one. I saw it behind the there. Hefner, can you describe it? Crow, well, I didn't have get a good growl. Crow, that's it. That's what I heard. Hefner, sounds like a tiger. I heard them like I heard them like that in India. Crow, just you watch right by that tree. Growl. Crow, look out, look out. It's heading this way. Hefner, give me that rifle. Crow, hurry up. Shoot, shoot. Rifle shot. Crow, try again. Rifle shot. Crow, with relief. That, that's got it. Hefner. Hefner. Come on, come on. Let's take a look. Foot sits through the bush. Marine. Now look out. Might be, might be still alive. Hefner, no. I hit it square with that second charge. Foot sits stop. Marine. Hefner. What the devil is it? Crow, that is a good eight feet long. Hefner. What do you make of it, Hefner? Well, in that well, except for the lack of markings, it clearly resembles a tiger. Crone, look at those claws. Have yeah, we chase the rats out of the warehouse? They go to the fields. We hunt them down in the fields with dogs. They breed tigers. Well, in well, this is easier. That's easier, easier than rats. We can shoot tigers. Have yeah, no, wait a minute. We've been here less than three months, Marin. Dogs have been in the fields only two. That says tigers with, and that, well, that tiger's mature. How do you account for that? I mean, I do not, not so, Mr. Hefner. But I imagine its survival factor is high. The young doesn't, they don't, the young don't ever have to be young. Have no what? Marine, they can be born at fully structuring adults. Marine reports, development report, mice under control, field rats under control by terriers, tiger-like animals under control with searchlights and rifles, additional convocation, the original animal developed an appetite for electrical insulation, is no protection is set to keep the power on at all time, a last tiger-like animal was seen at L plus 130, of that the attack ceased, by well, all plus two years, the animals seem to be seen to be in control in all its forms. However, three months before the next colonist was due, a new animal was detected. Food was missing from the fields. Dogs were useless. The animals seemed to roam the fields, and dogs did not attack. But Charles were unable to feed, find the animal. Tape L plus two years, Hefner, Engineer Tully, and myself. Find a dirt moving machine, Tully. Now here's the way I'm rigging it up. Mr. Hefner, whatever it is, it spotted a photographic cell ray. So I worked up an alarm that reacts to body radiation. Hefner, you sure the animal would spot that? Tully, well, I'm burying it in the field. Then we move the visible alarm to another field. Have a right, Tully. As soon as the alarm goes off, notify Mr. Mother in and me. Do you understand, Tully? Yes, sir. Just as soon as the alarm goes off. Don't move the equipment, we're in. Report. L plus 15 radiation alarm sounded place. Field station, Hefner and myself. Eerie wind. Hefner, hushed. Look over... Look out, where you smoking, Mount in. We don't want to scare it away, Marin hushed. Well, there are dogs in the field, aren't there? Hefner, well, 
They were well supposed to be. They are. They didn't bark. Quiet. They're in there. There it is. See, see. Mirth in a what? Huh? We're in. It's in between the trees. Have a look out. Look out. Give me a clear shot. Marion, no, wait a minute. Don't shoot. Have a look, Marion. I'm executive here. I say it's dangerous. Marion, dangerous? That is why you can't shoot. It's more dangerous than you know. Have to. Quite, quite, I heard you. And then we're there and win. Now listen, Hefner. This is important. Hefner, I don't want to let any lecture now, Martin. I don't want to lose this shot. Marion, you're not, you've got to listen. That animal could evolve mice. We stopped mice. It would brought rats. We turned back the rat and it provided a tiger. Hefner, all right, we stopped the tigers. Marion, Marion, not really. There's another animal being formed. The one that's in the field now. It took the animal two years to create it. Now I don't know. How I don't know. A million years will quite evolve it on Earth. Hefner, he's moving away, Marion. I've got, I'm going to shoot. Marion, don't shoot. We can't destroy that animal. It's on the Earth now, and other planets. We've never been able to get rid of our own rats. How can we exterminate this animal? Hefner, all the same, but all the more reasons to start here. Get down and give me a clear shot. Marion, listen, are these straight, are the, the, their rats better than ours? Will their beasts win or, or I'll be stronger? Or will the two make peace of a night and vent the breed? Not impossible. I don't know who could do it. If in the breeding with a high, the high survival factor. You see, another, t- after tiger, they, they bred this thing. Is, if you shoot it, down they'll come next, what, what will come next? Look at it. Standing right, gospel of blows of thumbs, but look, by a look, a low vision, a large brain capacity. This one I think we will complete, we can compete with. This is one after this, it is the one after this I don't want to face. Have no wait, wait, I must hear it, uh, it, it must hear us. He's looking his way, Marine. Look at it, I have no. He's holding his hands up to show us he's not got no weapon. Drop your rifle, Hefner. Are you sure? Marine, drop your rifle. Animal footsteps approach, Marine. He's coming his way. Hefner, he's got one of those white blossoms in his hand. Marine, yes. Must be a sign of peace. Hefner, why? It looks like, um, almost like a man. I wonder, was inside that body? Marine, I wonder what's inside that brave head. Bill is a fence. 